Hello and welcome to Billigence's instructional video on how to install Tableau extensions. First, I'll search for an extension that I want to use by double clicking this button. What I need to do next is to look up the downloaded extension file. In this case, it's the process.trex. Um, notice the file type here. Uh, .trex files are basically shortcuts pointing Tableau towards the right web application that's displayed in Tableau itself. Let me double click to open it. Oh, if I'm not registered, I would first need to sign up. Um, however, that's something I've already done. So I'll simply log in by inputting my credentials, uh, philip.gregor at billigence.com and my password. And confirm. Now what I see now is a welcome screen with a guided tour explaining how to use the extension. So obviously if I'm seasoned or a returning extension user, I can skip it. Um, while if I'm new to the extension and I want to learn how to use it properly, I can start the tour. So without further ado, let's click the button. We start with settings, then next. I can click here as well, uh, update, and last, cool. The loading circle in the middle informs me that the extension needs to be set up first in order for me to use it properly. So I'm going to click here. On the sheet with sample values the extension is part of, then I just need to set up the extension by choosing the right columns from the drop down menu. Prior status is the previous phase of the status. The other phase is status. Path measure in this example will be average duration. And the node measure will be number of records. Ah, voila. Let's click this. As you can see, we're presented with the interactive chart visualization. What I can do is I can very easily drag and drop and move individual nodes around. To maximize the usage of screen space available to me and to make it easier to understand the insights that are being presented to the user. As you can see, I can observe path values as well as those of the nodes themselves. Uh, I can interact with the charts and move the nodes around so that the visualization itself makes the most sense. And that's about it. Again, the great thing is here that what you can do is make these additional tweaks to change the visualization at will um, and provide you with more information. So, for example, I can display path values, then reposition the nodes as needed and make it as easy, readable and understandable as possible. So this is all easily done using drag and drop, therefore perfect for end users. Whenever I need to reset the visualization, for example, due to changes made to the underlying values, I simply click on the update button. And if I want to log out, you've guessed it, I click on log out. If I do so, the next time I'll want to use the extension, I'll be required to log in again using my credentials. Okay, and that's it. Thank you very much for watching this demonstration of process analysis extension from Billigent.